Hey guys, what's up? This is T-Bones Tech, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review over the Canon Rebel T3. Now you can buy this camera for around $450 on Amazon with the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, or around $300 without the lens. So here it is, the Canon Rebel T3. It has an expandable ISO from 100 to 6400, so you're going to be able to get some very good wall lighting pictures from this camera. It also shoots HD 720p video and it has bursts of 3 frames per second which isn't too shabby. This camera goes from off to on in 300 milliseconds and to give you guys a comparison the 5D Mark III goes from off to on in 500 milliseconds so it actually turns from off to on faster. This camera is compatible with both EF and EFS lenses, so you can go anywhere from the 18 to 55 millimeter kit lens, which really isn't that good, to the 24 to 105 millimeter L lens, which is amazing, and you are going to be able to mount any type of lens that Canon produces. This camera has a 12 megapixel Comos APS-C sensor, so it's the same sensor size that you'll be seeing in the Canon T3i and the Canon 60D and the Canon 7D. It's the same exact size, it just doesn't have as many megapixels. Taking a look at the back, you can see the 2.7 inch LCD screen. It's nothing that good, you can distinguish every single pixel if you look at it clearly. The images that you're going to be seeing on this actual LCD screen isn't that good, but it's going to get the job done. Here you can see your HDMI out, your mini USB plug-in, and your wired shutter release so you can have a wired shutter release and you can hit it and it will take the picture. One thing I don't like about this camera is the SD card slot goes on the bottom of the camera rather than the side of the camera like it does on the Canon 60D and the Canon T3i. It is very annoying to have to turn your camera upside down to try to pull your SD card out and sometimes if you have a bigger tripod mount you won't be able to take your SD card out of your camera without removing the tripod accessory first. So, should you get the Canon Rebel T3? Well, that all depends on your unique shooting situation. What do you plan on doing with this camera? Are you a beginning? If you are new to photography and just want to play around with this camera and take pictures of your family and friends and kids, then I definitely recommend buying this camera over the Canon Rebel T3i. Now if you're a more advanced photographer or plan to be an advanced photographer, I definitely recommend buying the Canon Rebel T3i or the Canon 60D because they have better image quality and a lot more advanced features than this camera has, but this camera is great for beginners and the casual photographer who wants to be able to take really good pictures. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.